Yo, what is up, everybody, and welcome to the first episode. Let's just call it episode zero of the Budget Squad, because there won't be any gameplay today, unless you consider Honey the Auction Block gameplay. Now, as you guys can see, we have nobody on this team. There's a few of these um, Madden season players, and there's also the Ronnie Lot that came out today. It's a 90 overall that we have. That's easily our best player right now. But we do have is almost 40k coins to spend, and... Right now, the approach is we're going to attack the defensive end first because I feel like offense, you know, that's more in your control. Defense, I need some decent players to make play. I need some players on the D-line to try to stop the run. This is some sorry-ass players we have here. I need some secondary players to be able to, you know, cover someone for more than two seconds. And we're going to work on that first. Now, how I got the 39K coins, you guys are definitely wondering, is I did some solo challenges. One of the solo challenges I did is the one that came out yesterday, the Team of the Year one. I'll show you guys that real quick. And I also did the Ice when the Ice Bowl Frozen Tundra solo challenge came out like a few weeks ago. I did that one when you get three Ice Bowl collectibles. I sold the Ice Bowl collectibles and I sold the Team of the Year collectible. I got the Brent Grimes collectible. I sold it for like pretty much 18k. And that's pretty and I sold the Ice Bowl collectibles for like 6k each. So that's pretty much how I got there. You think about it 18, 17. That's pretty much where all my coins came from. So now we got to try spending on the whatever we can. Now, first of all, I also have my head open, and this is probably not going to be a straight line video. What we're going to do is we're going to try to get some 80 to 85 overall players. That's the goal. I'm not exactly going to go snipe hunting. What we are going to try to do, though, is try to get some of the football outsider and team of the week cards that came out in the past few weeks. Like, there's a new right guard that came out the past two weeks in football outsiders. So before we do anything... I'm going to check out the 80, 85 to 90 right guards. So there's two new 85 overall right guards that came out, and we can definitely get one of them for really cheap. Like right here, this Turner's going for 1000 If we search his name, we'll probably get to see more of him, maybe even like a cheaper version of him. And then the Urschel's the one that came out this week. So, um, damn, I'm, I'm going too fast on this keyboard. Uh, let's see, Turner, how do you... What's the option button? Here it is. Yeah, you see, Turner's going for 700 right here. You'll be able to find that by typing his name. And then Urschel, I don't know which one's better, but um, I still got to get used to these buttons. But, I mean, they're practically both the same thing. They're both really, really damn cheap. Here's Urschel going for 650 right now. I wish we could compare them really quick. The Urschel is better at everything, pretty much, except speed. So, you know what? We're going to get an Urschel real quick and call it a day, all right? We spent way too long in this one right guard. I'll try to make the process less for the rest of these things. But uh, first purchase right there. Football outsider, 85 overall. He's now our starter. We'll take that. All right, so I tried looking for some football outsider players that would be cheap. But um, there weren't many other cheap players. That right guard stuff is pretty much the best you can get as far as, like, budget squad getting stuff for under 1,000 coins. So we're not going to worry too much about those. And we're going to try to attack the defensive end. I'm going to try to build up our linebacking core and our safety core. That's the main thing I want to work on. Uh, we'll search 80 to 85 and see if there's any, you know, good guys we might be able to get. And then we'll just go to the 84 to 80 range. Let's see. McPhee might be the best guy you get at this price. Maybe this Walden. By the way, those are... I, I'm trying to spend, like, under 2,000 coins for every single player we buy. Let's see, Avantez Burfick, is he a left outside linebacker? What are left outside linebackers can we get? Brooks doesn't look too bad, though. I don't mind Brooks. A Kerrigan is 2500 I wonder if we could get a cheaper Kerrigan. Hightower, let's check out Hightower's. This is not Hightower. Let's check out Hightower's stats real quick. Hightower, 81 overall. He's decent zone. We do. I, I do like my players having good zone. He has good pursuit, decent block shed, so he's not too bad. A Aaron Ahmad Brooks, that's someone I might like, but the what do you call the high tower might actually be better than him. A Kerrigan, a Kerrigan might be a little bit too expensive for us. And I don't, know, I don't like Kerrigan too much, anyways. Let's check back up here. What's an Akeem Ayers going for? Akeem Ayers, 76, 850 coins, uh, 76 zone two. Block shining is not too great, huh? All right. And Brooks, what's your strength? Your strength is pretty good. Pretty decent. For I might I might have to rock a mod Brooks. Maybe a Kruger. How much is Kruger? Like what, what's Kruger pulling here? Kruger, eh. And James Harrison's the last guy we might as well look at real quick. Harrison. 
Harrison's decent, but I think I might just have to go with Ahmad Brooks. Alright, oh no, our freaking Ahmad Brooks disappeared. I was just about to buy him. No, I was about to buy that dude for a thousand. Where'd he go? Fuck. Alright, so that changes up the game. I was just about to buy Ahmad Brooks, and that is part of the problem with um, doing the whole budget squad thing. Sometimes you take a while to make your decisions, and then the dude you want is gone. So, crap. I was literally about to buy Ahmad Brooks, and I, I made my decision. I had made my decision, and that was that. Now he doesn't even, he's not even there anymore. Alright, so I was thinking that we tried to stay under 2,000 coins for every purchase we made, but this guy is an 85 overall. He's right outside linebacker, and he's going for 2,400 coins. I just think his stats are pretty damn impressive, and we can use him on the budget squad, man. I mean, he might be, not be the best run stopper out there, but he's got some speed and stuff that... You know what? We can use on our team. So you know what? Welcome to the squad, Gerald. You're on. The, you're right here with us, all right? You're the new right outside linebacker. That is that. So that's one linebacker position taken care of. Now, um, the left outside linebacker spot, I'm still crushed about losing out on Ahmad Brooks. I spent way too long on that whole thing. But maybe we could get a Jason Worlds. Maybe we could win a bid really quick. I uh, might as well check out his stats in the meantime while we're, you know, scoping him out. Let's see. His tackling is decent, jumping, we don't really need that too much. We got to go more down, power move, good. Finesse move, really good. I didn't expect this finesse move to be that good, to be honest. It's a pretty good pass rusher, I didn't expect that. I mean, decent is 86 overall, it's got some decent stats. 88 hit power, not bad. Oh, uh, crap, someone else just bid on him. I don't know if we're going to win this bid. Someone else is... Uh, 2500 might just have to be the highest, alright? We're going to have to set a benchmark price for this guy. 2500 might just be the benchmark. I, th I thought I was the only one that saw this thing. I was like, oh, cool. This is kind of easy. Then someone else bid on him, and that was that. Oh, someone else bid on him. Crap. All right, so we might not be able to get him. That That's like, I don't know. That's, I don't want to get into those damn boring-ass bidding wars. They made, the, they made those bidding wars so, like, unnecessarily boring this year that I'm really not interested in getting in one of those. We'll check back on that bid war for a second. In the meantime, um... A Junior Galetch is dropped for 600. Um, I don't know. I don't like his stats too much. Nothing else. Nothing really stands out, though. That Ahmad Brooks was good. I just didn't pull the trigger on it. This Kruger. Kruger's all right. Ah, but Ahmad Brooks was actually pretty decent. So what we're going to do is we are going to the middle linebackers. You got a Mayo going for 3,700. We're going to need two middle linebackers, so... Let's see, Mayo's going for that much. Smith is going for damn near not. There's a quite a few guys over here that are not really going for much. A Daryl Washington? Maybe. What what's Smith's stats looking like? Daryl uh let's see. Not I don't know. I think I like this uh Washington better. Washington's a thousand eighty four No, my, Washington's actually pretty good. Why is he going for that little bit? You know what I'm saying? Like our a Tolik. Maybe a Tolik too. Tolik is Hmm, we might have to go with the Washington and Tulik combination real quick here. They Neither of them look bad, man. I think I would rock both of them, to be honest. I mean, Tulik's speed isn't... I mean, actually, they might have the same speed. What am I saying? Let me check that real quick. Tulik... All right, Tulik's a little bit slower. So, we don't have fast linebackers, but our budget squad was not going to be that fast in the first place. So, you know what? I think we're just going to have to pull the trigger on these guys. I mean, I really doubt they're going for that much. Let me check Mohead real quick. Real quick before they go away. So, Daryl is going for how much? 84 overall. He's going for like 1,500. So, this is not that bad. And uh, Tulik, I don't think Tulik will be going for too much. But probably a, a little bit over 1,000 at least. Yeah. So, these actually aren't too bad prices. So, you know what? We're going we're gonna to hop on. And th these are going to be our linebackers right here. 84 overall and 84 overall. We can we can do that. Oh, I, I hit a bomb by accident. That's that's all right though. That's not gonna slow us down. We're gonna get our um. Where is our dude? Our where'd he go? Man, I hope no one bought him. Oh, here he is, right here. I was like, you know, I really hope no one bought him while I was doing that little sc screw around. Uh, nah. I just had to check out Puzzle Osni real quick before I made my final decision. But you know what? We're gonna go with Tulik. That's gonna be our two middle linebackers right there. So, we actually haven't spent too, too much yet. 
though I might I might spend a little bit on cornerbacks and stuff like that. We might have to spend a little bit on those guys right there. All right, so the next position we're going to need pretty badly is cornerbacks. Now, Tremont Williams right now is going for a 1,000, and he's not really the worst guy in the world to have. So what we're going to do, I mean, I like Tremont Williams, but we're going we're gonna to hold on before pulling the trigger on that. That was a little bit too easy, 85 to 80. That's the thing, man. These 85 overalls are going for like 4,800. But when you check up on one of their um, counterparts down there that's an 84, or 85 to 86, they're going for like a million coins. When you check the 84 overalls, they're only going for a thousand. Like just because they're in a different range doesn't mean they're completely different players. It's only a knock one overall. So um, let's see. We, I mean, Tremont Williams, 84 overall. I might just have to jump on that. You know, let's see. Tremont, how do you get that in real quick? Before, just, I'm trying to do this quick before he gets bought out. Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna jump on that Tremont Williams real quick. I don't think he's supposed to be going for a thousand. So. Well, let's go. Let's get ourselves a Tremont Williams. I'm okay with that purchase right there. All right, Tremont Williams, 90 speed, pretty decent for a cornerback. I gotta make sure we get cornerbacks that aren't gonna get us burnt over the top. Um, mad people are bidding on that Roby, so I don't think we're gonna be able to get that. This Leon Hall is another guy that it's another 84 overall, and I'm not sure he should be going for that little bit for an 84 overall. So he's not that fast, though. That's the thing. Compared to Tremont Williams, at least he's not that fast. People are getting bought out, though. Check it out. People are getting bought out left and right, so we got to work quick. We got to work real quick on this thing. Oh, Tremont Williams just got, or, um, this dude just got bought out. All right. I wasn't I wasn't that interested in getting you anyways. Go away. So, free safety. Those dudes are going for, like, 800, but this guy right here is going for 3,700. Is that justifiable for a free safety? I don't know, 3,700 is justifiable. Oh, Calvin Johnson. I wish I could just buy a free safety Calvin, man. Uh, the Pudge Squad won't allow us to buy a Calvin Johnson. If I could just pick one of those guys up real quick, I would be a happy person, you know. But uh, we're just going to scoot our way down and check out, let's see, a Mike Mitchell, 84. There's got to be a reason why he's going for next to nothing because, I don't know, people don't seem to value Mike Mitchell too much. He's got good hit power. Uh, what's his play record? His play record is garbage. That might be that might be why nobody wants him. I mean, I figured player is actually like somewhat important, but none of these guys have good play rec though. Like every everybody I'm checking has like a play rec of seventy five. My Mike Mitchell's play rec is actually half decent. Raheem Moore, let's see what what's see what are you doing right here? See, Raheem Moore's stats aren't really much better than Mike Mitchell's. So you know what? I kind of like the idea of Mike Mitchell for eight fifty. He's an eighty four overall. Let me just search him up and see if I can find a cheaper version. I think Mike Mitchell's the guy we need. An 84 overall budget squad. I'm okay with that, man. I'm okay with it. rocking an 84 overall budget squad. Mitchell. Crap, I am so terrible with this thing. I don't think I have to type this whole thing out, but I'm typing it anyways. Yeah, that's the cheapest one up. So, you know what? We're pulling the trigger. Mike Mitchell, 84 overall. Welcome to the squad. You are now our starting free safety. The 85 to 90s, that's another story. Actually, never mind. These 85 to 90s are even, like, cheaper of anything. Like, this branch for 2200? Hmm. 95 speed? I did mention I use it with these guys. Even though he's got no hit power. Dante Hittner real quick. Dante Hittner might... I might... Let's see. What's branches like, play rec and all that crap? His play rec is damn near garbage. Hittner, do you always realize when something's coming at you in the field? No, you don't. All these dudes have... Terrible play wreck, yeah. Um, Aaron Williams, you're not too hot. All right, so you know what? I like Ty. Let me just check out Harper stats real quick. I don't think I'll be interested in a Harper. Harper, nah, not really. So you know what? Branch, you got no hit power, but you know what? And what's what's your tackling real quick? Yeah, see, he doesn't even have much better tackling. So you know what? Tavon Branch is not that bad of a pickup. I would take a Tavon Branch in our team. Branch. Let's just search that real quick. And those are some pretty decent prices. So you know what? 85 overall, Tavon Branch. Welcome to the squad. You are now this new star, strong safety. Wait, I should have never even bought. Well, that Ronnie Lott's gonna expire. Why? Whatever, man. We we'll use you as a backup, alright? I crap. I forgot that we had the Ronnie Lott. How's your stats looking over here? What do you do with your life? You are okay. You're actually not that bad. Uh, maybe, maybe. Play rec 81. Uh, maybe. 
you uh that 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 brown might just be your guy man or just mccordy actually huh jason mccordy pretty good zone player 90 speed six foot what's your what's your height or six feet i should say what's your height 510 yeah mccordy's got a little bit of height to him which i would definitely like to see on the team Let's search up some other McCordy's. That McCordy might actually not be too bad of a guy to pick up. Mick. Jason McCordy. Oh, yeah. I don't know. I mean, the fact that he's going for so cheap. Let's get a Jason McCordy, man. 84 overall, 1,500 coins, 6 feet. I think that's a decent pickup. Now, we need one more cornerback for our team since we run a lot of nickel. This cornerback is another guy I would use her with, so he's not really too important. If anything, the one thing he would need to have is speed and height. All right, we need to go back to the left linebacker spot, left outside linebacker. We need to go back searching for some of those guys. Um, Let's see. Kerrigan is up for 1,100. I was debating that Kerrigan. Now he's up for 1,100? An 84 overall Kerrigan? You know what? Huh, Kerrigan, 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 Kerrigan. Ah, I mean, this Brooks was really good. I, I might still actually get a Brooks. But right now, I think we might have to get a Kerrigan and see how he does. I mean, he can't be too bad of a budget linebacker, right? He's got decent stats. I mean, compared to the other dude that we just checked out. All right, Kerrigan. Welcome to the squad. We're going to throw a Kerrigan in there for now. Now, actually, one thing we need to do really quick is we need to get a playbook. Oh, yeah. One of the other things I sold, I had a... I had a Philadelphia offense. I sold that, and that ended up working out pretty well. So, yeah, just just in case you were wondering, we're gonna buy a Cardinals defense for three fifty. Maybe I shouldn't be paying that much for a defensive playbook, but I just want to get that real quick.